if you're thinking about using Gmail and want the basics, then this is the one for you. So I'm an online organization coach for women in business and I help women get organized with their systems and their time. So I'm about, so today a basic Gmail tutorial, let's get into it. Um, so this is my Gmail. I actually have um, my early at earlywildy.com email address um, where most of the correspondence is done with my clients and sort of business specific um, correspondence. I use my Gmail account for my subscriptions most. So, so here's where you can um, have all of your categories. Why isn't that letting me drop down? So this drops down. You can see I've got lots of categories here where I can file my emails. Um, you can start a new email here. Um, oh, look at that. Obviously, I haven't been here for a while. Um, okay, so you can write an email um, and all of those things go in there. We'll close that. That's fairly standard for emails. The main things I want to show you um, are over here in the settings. So you can have um, change your view into cozy, compact or comfortable. Um, that one is the cozy, compact is a bit more um, squished up so everything kind of you get more on a screen really it's up to you as to what you like um, I think I'm gonna go with cozy right so now we'll go into configure your inbox so Gmail has these other social promotions updates and forums categories so you can have them listed in your um, inbox down here and it will categorize them for you um, I don't want and it identifies um, what they are um, I don't want um, most of them in my um, well it has the tabs so I don't want most of them there so I've got social ones not there um, forums is not there so let's save that and it's not in that oh, here it is it's in this view where you have tabs. See, this is my primary email where most of the things will come to me. Hmm. Um, promotions is here. So it's identified the newsletters that I'm subscribed to. Updates um, are essentially the same as well. Um, and if you want to add a new one, you can do it like that. So you can segment your email and inbox like that where your primary conversations will come in here. Um, then if we go to settings, okay, this is where it starts to get important. Um, so we have a look down here. You can add stars to your Gmail so that, um, and color code them. Um, I don't tend to use that. I use color coding more in, um, the labels that I put on, um, there are lots of keyboard shortcuts on um, Gmail so that if you want to start a new email, if you want to put the cursor on the screen, if you want to um, file things and then label, it will, you know, there's lots of keyboard shortcuts there so you can have them um, come up. Button labels, um, you can obviously edit your signature um, and set up vacation responders if you need that. Um, labels are probably one of the most important things and one of the th reasons why G people love Gmail because you can use these labels um, very effectively. So you can see you've got all of these categories. Here's the ones that we looked at first for the tabs um, and it, you can have show or hide or show if unread. Okay, so at the moment I have my important ones as show. I don't use the starred ones, so they're currently on hide. Chats are show, sent mail, I don't really need to see. Drafts, I don't need to see. So that's, well that, that's actually, change that. I don't need that one. Don't want that one on my list. All mail, I don't need to see. Spam, I don't need to see. Trash, I don't need to see. I know it's there if I want to get it. Categories, circles, that relates to Google Plus. 
Um, I don't use Google Plus very much anymore, so I don't use that. And then labels. This is where your filing can really become um, powerful. Um, so I have lots of labels and other labels. You can essentially just use ones like documents and templates, lead nurturing, clients, images and design stuff, um, finance, and then have subheadings, sub labels under that, marketing, research, um, content and links that you want to keep. Um, all those kinds of things can go in there. And again, show, hide, show if unread um, and all those kinds of things. So there, um, you know, and it's all just a matter of create new label. Um, let's say leads. If you want it to be a sub one, you can put it under there. Um, I don't, so I'll uncheck and create. So leads is here already. If I want to go over here, I can assign a color to it and I'll say uh, purple and there you go. Other things I can do on this side, include it in the message list. I can edit the label if I want to change the name of it. I can add a sub, sub label under there. Um, so, you know, that was pretty simple and quick. Um, so inbox, um, if you have um, this is where the order of your inbox becomes really important. You can choose the default and um, it's sorted by date, obviously. But let's have a look. You can sort by important first and that's where you get to choose what is important in your priority inbox and then it will do everything else. If you do unread first, that could be quite handy if you use your inbox kind of like a to-do list um, and that will be everything that's unread will be the things that you need to do and everything read will be done and filed. Um, you can use starred if you use the stars and priority inbox gets a bit more complicated. I like the unread first. Okay, so you can have unread items in the first section. Um, and so they have, and you'll notice when I first started the, the video, my inbox was set up in two sections. One was unread and the rest below that were unread. Um, that's why we didn't have those tabs at the start. Um, show markers for importance goes into that and then filters. Um, so that's there. So that's how you can set up your inbox accounts. Now the other nice thing about this is um, and Gmail is that you can check your email from other accounts and they don't have to be Gmail accounts, they can be other accounts too. So that all of your emails come into one place and that if you run a couple of businesses or have like me, I have my husband's Gmail account, um, my Gmail account and my business one, I have them all going into my Mac mail um, so I don't use the online Gmail one as much but for if you are using your Gmail, it's perfect for that and you can set up um, all the things you need to do for that. Okay, setting up a filter so that it doesn't always go straight into your inbox. Um, emails, especially subscriptions, ones that you get a lot of, can you can set up a new filter really easy from early um, anything that goes into me. Oh, test the search, there you go. When a message arrives that matches this search, archive it, mark it as read, apply the label. So I will choose the label. If it's coaching, I'd probably have clients. And then I can um, categorize it if I want to, but I wouldn't do it for that. Um, and off you go, there's your filter. You can um, set up some really cool things for for um, for if you're feeling overwhelmed about your inbox then this is a really good way to set up filters. You can just set up a couple a day, a couple a week um, to really help you organize your um, inbox. So there you go, that's a filter set up and done. So now anything that comes in um, will automatically, that's um, got coaching in the title, will automatically go to the uh, coaching label. 
Okay, forwarding, um, that's fairly standard inbox stuff. Chat, if you want to have chat like iMessage does. Um, labs is other things that aren't quite ready. If you want to trial them, that's fine, obviously. And themes is kind of fun. Um, if you want to change the background, um, you can pick your theme. Now these are photos. These three, four, are all my photos. Um, these are the Google ones. These are the Google ones. I currently am using that one. But then there's this one that's fairly simple and standard. Um, but here you can just go into and it will source from your photos. Um, it gets a bit busy though, so I haven't done that. I just want a simple background so I don't get confused. And there you go. That's kind of all the basics of setting up, doing the labels, setting filters um, for your inbox. So if we go back to the inbox, let's have a look. Here are, um, I want to go here. And so you can see that it's, it hasn't actually. Okay, so I just needed to click save from the settings that I'd made um, because the inbox um, was still back on default. So if I go back to default and save that and back to inbox, there, see, it's, it's just in the normal um, tabs. Um, some's red, some are red, some are not, and that is a bit confusing for me. So I want to see in my settings, inbox, unread first, and save. And that, yeah, there we go. So you see, I can see the ones that aren't um, the ones that aren't red, um, and then the rest down there. So here you can see the labels where I've got these ones um, and I've done a search. If I do want to add, let's go back to here and we can add some labels. Um, so let's try Sarah King. I only signed up to her stuff just the other day. So let's do, just cause I wanted to have a look at what she was doing. Sarah at simply okay so if I select all of these and add a label as research productivity there you go they're all labeled and I can now drag them all into here and they're filed in there too. So um, there you go. So I've, you can now do a quick search if you do this color coordination. You can search quickly based on um, what color things are if you have them all um, sorted. And you can do that as you saw fairly quickly. That's that's a general overview of Gmail. Um, and how you can organize those things um, and make it a bit more organized and um, stay on track of your unread and read emails um, and manage them um, without feeling overwhelmed. I'm Wildy from earlywildy.com. I also run a five day online organization challenge for um, those of you who want to get organized online and it covers your um, hard drive, um, your inbox, because um, I know inbox is a really big one for lots of people, um, social media pictures, photos and external storage, um, just a five day challenge. So if you're interested in that, um, the link is here. So thanks so much. Bye.